Hey guys, it's your girl Shalone and welcome back to my channel. Daddy. Yes, Vidi? Yes, I see the goose. Anyways, so I am gonna be just jumping into this video. I'm gonna do an unboxing, another product haul. Um, the last time I recorded this, the camera was too far away. So I'm gonna like put y'all up close and personal. So I ordered some nail stuff and they came in. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I got is the what is name again? Which brand is name again? Valentino. Yeah, Valentino. Um, no white gel top coat. Um, I'm almost out of this, so yeah. Let me see which one better. Yeah, that look look a closer, don't it? Yeah, man. Let's 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 up close and personal with everything. So I've got this um top coat here. I got this monomer. It's really great. Um, some people say it's too strong, but I don't find it to be very strong. And I use a mask most times. Um, I also bought some storage containers for some tips. Or oh, maybe it's too close. <laughs> yeah, I bought some storage containers um, for some tips that I bought on Amazon a few months ago. They came in some bags and I saw this on the website and thought this would be so useful to like just sort them so I don't have to be like opening individual bags. So yeah, that's that. Um, I also picked up a bunch of little knickknacks from them as well. Let me just open this. Sean, this is as it's right here. So we and I used to know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> I picked up just some little um dried floors i'm super excited to do some acrylic designs with these um this is the what do you call it <laughs> oh my god i must knock over to something yeah it's a french um cutter well um easy french water drop cutters so you can cut different sizes i guess yeah besides <laughs> Oh my god, no, all of a sudden I can't talk. <laughs> so based on um, like the sizes, you can cut the French with acrylic with this. So like you put acrylic on it and then you cut it to like form like a little smile line. And then you put on the rest of the acrylic. So this is good if you're not really, if you're not that great at like sculpting, which I'm not great at yet. So that's that. I also bought some little nail art. As well, this is just some metallic nail art. I also picked up some holographic or sequin hearts. These, I bought them in some different colors. I'm really excited to buy this. I actually picked up some butterfly ones on Amazon, which I'll show you guys as well. So that's that. Oh, oh, they put it in a different box. I bought this um, matte top coat. I was wondering where this was. I think they probably couldn't find the box for it, so they put it in this box. God, this is a different brand. And oh yeah, that, that's what they did. <laughs> then I put it in that box. So I bought some more protein bond um, and the mat top coat. Can I wonder what is coming? No, I never ordered this. All right, what else? Oh, and pretty much this is the reason why I placed the entire order. It's the classic nude um, acrylic set so i'm really excited to, i feel like removing these actually <laughs> even though it's been a week oh, a week and a half since i applied them but yeah like i a girl on instagram had these beautiful um french nudes or nude nude french yeah uh my friend sent it to me and i was like i was like you know i'm going to message her and find out what she used and she told me she so kindly told me and it was the Valentino classic nude colors. I'm so excited to finally have a really good nude that I can use for French. And that's why I also bought yeah, the cuticle cutter thingy. So this is what I got from Amazon. So they're little sequiny butterflies. Yeah. And I got some dotting tools. I had got some in a free um nail in the practice hand but those are so cheaply made so yeah this is what i got and i love it well they look nice can never have enough of these so yeah that's pretty much my little nail haul yeah okay guys 
So, your girl is making some air fried chicken thighs. I've never air fried anything this big before. Um, so, yeah, I'm, you know, I should have weighed them, but I was kind of feeling lazy today. But yeah, I'm gonna brush on some oil. And then I'm gonna like just put it in. Yeah, so let's do that. And this is olive oil, by the way. Just gonna brush that in. Just gonna do one side at a time. Don't wanna like put it on the skin just yet because I'm gonna flip these. So when I flip it, then I will put on the oil on the next side. I think my camera is dirty and needs to be cleaned. There we go. <laughs> so much better. All right, so. So let's put that in the air fryer. Let's put this aside. And well, I bought this Garmia um, air fryer from Costco. Yeah, I think I paid like sixty dollars for it. It was on sale. It's huge. Like I don't even think this is giving it justice right now. It is huge let me see um in this case let's use the row setting let's we're not gonna do any preheat because it's already in it i'm gonna put that to 40 minutes 20 minutes each side actually let's do 38 all right see you guys in a few minutes so that's what those are looking like um i did like use some sauce on them um so yeah that's what that looks like i am currently waiting on the sweet potato fries to finish i'm just gonna pop these back in the oven to like not in the oven in the microwave for just a few minutes to keep it to reheat before i serve so yeah that's that yeah i did chop them in half just to make sure that they were actually cooked um i don't know I'm not used to using the air fryer. Um, I ended up cooking them for maybe like 31 minutes. Turns out I, like I could have probably done like 25 minutes because they were just a little bit overcooked. Okay, so I'm actually about to make over this space. This mirror was here, was there. And I would just, this was more centered here. But I kind of just moved them up because the plan is to convert this back into the intended purpose, which is my home office. I was using it mainly as a space to work out. But as you guys know, I have been going to the gym. So I'm, I still want to keep like my home workout um, equipment, of course, so that I could work out when outside looks like a snowstorm. Yeah. That's kind of what outside is looking like right now. Um, snow in spring. Yeah, so the plan is to redo this. And um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. My table is coming tomorrow. It should fit in that space. And I'm going to figure out some storage options for these. So I probably will hit up Pinterest tonight. So yeah, um... I will keep you guys updated. These are just some things I moved with. So, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the gold vibe because this mirror was thrifted. I just can't get rid of it. It's so hard to find, like, a really nice, good quality, like, full-length mirror that without paying, like, a couple hundred dollars. And I got, I think I thrifted it, so, like, 10 or $20. Um, so, yeah. Um, I will keep you guys updated on this. So here is my little office space, guys. Let me just step back out so you can see the full setup. Yeah, so <laughs> I put my monitor on this bench. Printer, oh my gosh, printer, shalom, printer. I put my printer on the bench. 
um and there's still a lot of space here for working i need to vacuum it because there's a lot of packing packaging that was left behind but yeah there's still a lot of space to work out and the mirror hello hi how are you doing <laughs> um so yeah my old job had like a physical um office here in calgary and when we were moving um we well i gave my husband my desk and sold his desk and sold my chair because the plan was just to like go into the office like can i like to force me into the office more um and only like not be so comfortable at home if i'm working at home i work out at the office at the dining table but that didn't work but that's not gonna work out for me in this current job since it's permanently remote so that's why i did that office setup that i just saw you but that let me yeah let me show you guys so yeah um i am actually in the process of changing out this mouse i bought this from amazon but i'm not really in love with the functionalities this feels nice but i'm gonna buy a logitech mouse a logitech mouse that's designed to work with a macbook and a keyboard that's designed for a macbook this is nice like it has some it's a it's a cool it's a cool gaming um i'm gonna turn it off now. yeah it's a cool gaming um keyboard you know it lights up it's kind of bright now and it's gonna it's gonna show it's gonna show that it's blinking but that's how light shows up on um camera this is not how it actually looks in real life in real life it's a smooth transition um maybe if i had increased the frames per second you'd see it clearer but yeah um it's really nice it's a really nice monitor i want monitor <laughs> it's a really nice keyboard but to be if i'm being honest i can't really type with it in my nails and i know sean you're really going to sell a laptop because you can't type it in your nails i'm not gonna sacrifice my nails for a pretty keyboard i can't do it like i love the mechanical so it's really meant for gaming and i love that about it but i can't type with my nails like on my macbook like i have no issues typing pretty fast with my nails you understand but like this no this not gonna work out so what is other return this and this and just get a logitech logitech mouse and a logitech keyboard if you guys want to know where everything is from let me know and i'll do like a whole you know office like a full proper office tour and you know the little close-up shot them on the beer or under her so let me know um yeah yeah that's that guys i hope you like it i'm going to actually close out the vlog here because i know i have at least 10 minutes of footage and i'm trying to keep the vlogs very short so yeah i will see you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching Mwah.